Hi there everyone welcome to Technoholic today in this video we will be talking about one of the best value for money or uh, we can say one of the best budget motherboard available for 12 generation intel processors so here we are talking about LGA1700 so this board is only compatible with 12 generation of processor so let's say you have chosen 11 generation or earlier processor or let's say you have chosen um, AMD Ryzen then again this board is not compatible it is only compatible with Intel 12 generation of processor which I will show you and talk about in the later part of this video because what happens sometime or in some scenario we are quite skeptical about the capability and compatibility of the motherboard whether it have a compatibility with the processor that we are looking for or with other component for example ram whether it can support um, up to certain megahertz of ram or uh, nowadays even with ssds because ssds are also coming in form of different different generation and uh, in form of different different pcie uh, support so we require to look for the compatibility or even with the graphic card version so there is a lot to discuss so let's start a detailed review about this motherboard so as you can see here in my screen this board is from msi and the board name is msi pro h610m g ddr4 motherboard if we talk about its availability i believe it is available across uh, multiple regions across the world so you can easily find this board available in your area so let's start understanding this board in detail so that uh, you know you can take a wise decision whether you should go for this board or not because the kind of value that it provides for the price and you know guys right now the kind of price hike we are seeing for all commodities so in my opinion it would be very wise decision to go for the correct product so let's start talking about its form factor so as we can see here this board comes with micro atx form factor which means that you can actually build a very compact size pc to be precise about the dimension uh, the size of the board is 9.29 inches by 7.95 inches or 23.6 centimeter by 20.2 centimeter which make this board of a compact category if we talk about the different different sizes of motherboard however in terms of disadvantage obviously because of small form factor you have to assemble everything at a very compact space you know and uh, due to this also you will find only two ram slots instead of four also because this board have h610m chipset therefore it may come with lesser number of pcie lanes and io we will see and talk about this on later part of this video because again you know it depends on your need as well now let's talk about the number of compatible processor with this motherboard the msi pro h610m g ddr4 motherboard is actually one of the very basic and budget friendly motherboard but this really doesn't mean that it won't support i7 processor or let's say i9 processor it definitely support all the intel 12 generation processors starting from very basic celeron g6900 or intel pentium gold g7400 to intel core i3 i5 i7 to extremely fast intel core i9 12900ks the only thing that we require to keep in mind that uh, we provide enough power and required cooling for this hardware and again you know the expensive cpu you may have a lot of other features that may not be expanded with this board but it really doesn't mean that you may not able to run the fastest 12 generation processor in it you definitely can run any intel 12 generation processor in it so from processor compatibility side you really do not need to worry about now let's talk about the ram this board support up to 64 gigabyte of ram with a speed of 3200 megahertz so while buying the ram you require to take care this thing in your consideration that your ram frequency should not exceed 
3200 megahertz um which means that you can easily use 3200 megahertz 3293333 or you know the lesser megahertz ddr4 ram yes but you need to keep in mind that the ram should be at least ddr4 and as we said before this board only comes with two slots per ram so you can only install two memory module to it also one thing you need to keep in mind while buying the ram you should always buy two sticks instead of one module because the ram always work in dual channel so what does this mean let's say you want to install 32 gigabyte of ram to your system so go for 16 16 gigabyte of two sticks instead of single 32 because um in this way you can utilize the complete 3200 megahertz of potential the only con that we can see with this motherboard in terms of ram is that it only support ddr4 ram not the latest ddr5 and believe me guys even if you go for ddr5 first of all the ddr5 ram as of now are very expensive and you will not gain that kind of performance for the value that you are paying for and secondly uh, even you know the slightly higher chipset of b series or even z series in some variants what we have seen that even in those expensive chipset we do not see all the motherboard have ddr5 support now let's talk about the gpu if we talk about the gpu compatibility the motherboard comes with one pci e 4.0 by 16 lane for gpu which means that you can install from very basic gt 730 to one of the most powerful rtx 3090 in it not only that you can also host professional quadro and fire pro series to it the only thing you need to take care of is the power supply so you should choose the appropriate power supply based on the gpu that you decided to go for if we talk about the storage then definitely you can connect the sata based hard drive to it, it as it comes with four sata ports if we talk about the nvme port then it also comes with single pcie gen 3 nvme which i would say is not the latest one as we can see now there is a gen 4 nvme uh, hard drives are also available in the market so which is a kind of con i would say but again if we talk about the practicality and real time gain uh, if we compare gen 3 based ssd or gen 4 based uh, nvmes then uh, we do not see the practical gain actually but let's say you really want to go with one of the fastest nvme then in that case what you can do you can utilize the graphic card port in case you are not using graphic card because the graphic card is pcie gen 4 then in order to utilize that port you may need to buy an adapter which can convert pcie to nvme uh, if you really want to go for it i will put the link of such kind of adapter in the description of this video and if we talk about the price of this adapter this adapter is very cheap i would say now let's talk about the io that we get with this motherboard this motherboard comes with one hdmi one legacy vga one display port so even you can connect uh, or build two monitor setup with integrated graphics let's talk about the amount of usb available so you will get four usb 2.0 and two usb 3.2 gen 1 port of 5 gigabyte per second available with it you will also get extension of two usb 3.2 gen 1 port for your cpu with your cpu cabinet in terms of audio you will get high definition 7.1 channel realtek alc 892 slash alc 897 codec installed in terms of lan you will get very fast and a very low latency um gigabyte lan controller from intel if we talk about its compatibility with windows 11 so you do not need to worry about because this board also comes with tpm chip integrated so that was about its io yes but this board does not comes with any fancy rgb integrated bluetooth or wifi support if you think that the number of io available with this board is sufficient enough for you then i would definitely recommend you to go with this motherboard if you are looking to build general purpose or a productivity desktop or workstation 
then for sure you can go with it in terms of cpu recommendation if you are looking to build intel or celeron or pentium or even core i5 processor you can definitely consider this board the last thing that you should keep in mind while deciding and while going for this board is that it only comes with two slots of ram so keep this thing in mind while purchasing ram for your brand new system i hope guys this video might help you to decide whether you should go for this motherboard if you have any question or doubt then for sure you can ask me in comment down below and i will try to answer you as soon as possible that's all guys from my side in this one i hope you enjoyed it if yes then don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel for such content and i will see you soon in my next video till then take care and bye bye